Hello everyone, my name is Javin and this is my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be discussing how you can fix your bent or distorted Pokemon cards. A lot of times, unfortunately, with hollow promos like this one I just got the other day, for example, uh, they come slightly bent. You can probably see it a little bit here on the camera. Let me put it down on a table and I'll show you exactly how bent it is straight out of the packaging. Alright, so here it is sitting on the table right here and as you can see, it has got a slight bend to it. It's not awful, but you know what? It's curved out like a, like a rainbow. And sometimes foil cards have a tendency to do that. Like uh, I have some hollow uh, Korean cards and you can tell which ones are the foil ones because they're all the bent ones up here in the front. And this video is also to help those irresponsible people who can't seem to keep their cards straight. They like showing the cards off like this and like this. And so how do you, how do you return these cards to their former state after you start moving them around like this. This this hurts me doing this, just bending it like this. I don't see how you sick people can do it. All right, the first method we're gonna be trying here to bend back this promo that was so wrongfully injured in packaging is uh, using our fingers. And this requires a lot of dexterity and finger strength. So it's not for the faint, weak of heart. You gotta, you gotta be very brute. And we're just gonna bend this card back um, keep it in a sleeve so if you have some nails or anything you don't scratch up the card. Just kind of bend that card backwards so that it's normal. Just do this for a few minutes. Just like this. It's really taxing on your muscles so make sure you have a hearty meal beforehand. Alright and uh, there we go. After three or four hours or so of uh, working our fingers on this card it's now nice and flat, uh, well worth our time spent. I give this method B+. This method I'm going to be testing out with this bent hollow card to straighten it out is a uh, little test here with a hot iron. Uh, you can also use your hands if you rub them together really fast and you get them really warm. I want to use steam because that will probably damage it and we're going to, I think uh, this is a cotton blend for the cards. I think that's what they're made out of, I don't know. When you smell stuff start burning, that's when you know the iron is hot. Take it, and uh, we're just going to press it down on this card for a few seconds. Lift up, press down, repeat, and uh, a few times, and then maybe flip it over. Here we go, our card is perfectly flat. Um, there are a few downsides to this method. Uh, the best upside, though, is that, you know, when you take printer for, or paper fresh out of a printer, and it's really nice and warm and feels good, that's how this feels. So that's the biggest upside. Uh, the biggest downside is it also damages the card, it appears a lot, it uh, scratches it up. So maybe if you get a really smooth iron, it'll work better. Uh, overall, I'd give this method an F, um, maybe a D, or a C, I guess. I don't know, whatever letter grade you want to give it, uh, but it's not an A. Don't forget to turn your iron off after you're done using it, as to not burn down your house. I have one final method here today uh, for... Uh, fixing bent cards and this is for the people who are really on the go and for people who have very flat butts you have to um, You have to not have a lot of time on your hands and uh, also very flat butt you just um, take a card like this and tape it like so on your bottom and Then you sit down repeatedly uh, throughout the day and that will flatten the card out and Have it looking minty new once you're done. You just rip it right off and it will be flat as can be. Uh, but if you have a big round butt, um, I wouldn't suggest this method. You'll have to do one of the other ones. So for those out there who have been, who have been uh, cursed with a bodacious booty, I'm sorry for you. Well, that's it for our method today. Um, of course, you could always take a big heavy Xbox and put it on top of your cards to flatten them out as well. Uh, but I didn't go through that method because I didn't think about it till just now. And um, that's it for the video everyone. If this has helped you and your bent cards, please remember to leave a like, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification button, hit it twice uh, so you always get the notifications. Uh, go to my Twitter page, uh, follow that, um, like all my posts, watch all my videos twice, and leave at least two or three comments on each one. Thank you everyone and have a great day.